Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be discussing the problem check if the string is rotated by two place. So the problem statement or the name itself is very self explanatory and the problem statement is not much needed. So we just need to check if the string is rotated by two place or not. Okay, so let's start with the very first sample test case. So we have something like Amazon. Okay, now this string is rotated by two place like B like we this is B and this is A. So we need to check if B is a rotation of A by two places. Matlab, jo B hai, वो A के rotated string है कि नहीं? Now there are two types of rotation. One is clockwise rotation. One is anti-clockwise rotation. Okay. So now the very first one is clockwise, like anti-clockwise rotation. Let's say anti-clockwise rotation by two places. So everyone would go by two places. Fair enough. So this Z like this A would come here and then this M would come here. So A is coming here. This M is coming here. A would come here and then Z would come here. And then this N would come here and O would come here. Okay. This is the very first way. Okay. If this is rotated on a and the next one. Okay. Let's do it just above it. And this would make more sense. So now this time everyone would go to the clockwise rotation. So let's just change the color and let's say by two places. Okay. So N should come here. O should come here. And then Z should come here. Okay, Z should come here and then A should come here. Okay, and then here it should go as A should go here. Okay, after A is rotated, A should come here and then M should come here. Okay, so now if you see out of these two strings, this is the string that is B. So yes, B is a rotation of A. So basically, if you just see out the sample test case itself, you can observe that what we can really do is given A, we can rotate clockwise, rotate clockwise. And the next one is rotate, rotate anti-clockwise. And out of this, if anything is equal to B, we would say it is, we would say it is a yes, else we would say it is no. We can say this, simple enough. But the question is how would we do it? So let's just observe the given one. We have something like Amazon, okay. So if it needs to be rotated on the clockwise, that is everything would go on that side. So we know if everything would go on this side, this would everything this everything would shift this side. So we can say that as on would shift to that side, and the very first two am would come here. Makes sense. So what we really can do is, this is, so 2 is constant. So this is the index 1, this is the index 2, this is the index 3, this is the index 4, this is the index 5, this is, this is the index 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep, there are 6 characters and mixing is still 5. So we can say, we can take the substring from 2 till the value of n minus 1. We need to take the substring of this and we need to concatenate the substring 0 to 1 at the end and this would be nothing but the clockwise rotation of it. 
now we need the anti clockwise rotation okay we need the anti clockwise rotation so anti clockwise means everything would go that side okay so if everything would go that side so that means that this thing would remain constant and o n o would come here okay like this o would come here and then n would come here okay so the anti clockwise rotation would be the last two character that is o n okay that is o n that is what last two n minus 2 till the value n that is n minus 1 the last two characters and then we add to something like as on a amos okay and that would be nothing but the value of 0 till the value of n minus like how many characters leaving two character that is n minus 2 leaving two character this is the number of characters this is the number of characters basically so we would have from 0 till the value of n minus 2 that is just this okay so we need the value of 2 till the value of n minus 1 okay and this can be easily implemented in c plus plus by writing something as substring of 2 so this would automatically tell that we need till the end if no second parameter is passed it would take till the end if we want two characters from the start so we would say 0 comma 2 why because that would take two characters from the start this is it so we would say this is n minus 2 so we would say n minus 2 give me how much how many characters two characters so i would just say two characters okay and how this can be implemented we again want all the from zero we need to start and we want to take how many characters we want to take n minus two characters so we would say n minus two characters and this is how we would implement so we would be using this 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 and this to implement this now let's move forward to the implementation so we would basically have the rotation of both the strings so we would have the rotation by clockwise and anti-clockwise and if either of them is equal to b we would return true else we would return a false value so now let us have this as s1 and s2 so that we need to write less now if the length is unequal then there is no point of having that so n1 is equals to s1 dot size comma n2 is equals to s2 dot size a religion we need to do this okay now we need to start off we would say if n1 like if the length is not equal there is no point in moving forward if n1 is not equal to n2 return 0 from this point only now if there are only two characters then the rotation would make no sense so if s n1 is less than equal to 2 okay or n2 is n1 like both the string now has same length so if n1 is less than equal to loop like if the rotation like if there are less than two less than equal two characters then how can we rotate it by two places so we would simply say return n1 s1 equal to equal to s2 if s1 is equals to s2 we would return true else we would return false why because if the number of characters are less than two how can we rotate it by two place it would remain the same like a rotated by three places four places anything you do it would remain the same a b rotated by two places it would remain the same there is no point in doing that so we would just return that now we would have the string of clockwise is equals to a blank string and anti-clockwise as also equal to a blank string now we would have that okay so now we would say that anti-clockwise is equal to what s1 dot sub str of 2 added to how much s1 dot sub 
एस टी आर ऑफ जीरो कॉमा टू लाइक वी वुड टेक द टू कैरेक्टर्स एंड वी वुड अपेंड एट द लास्ट क्लॉक वाइज इज इक्वल्स टू एस वन डॉट सब एस टी आर ऑफ हाउ मच एन माइनस टू एंड वी वॉन्ट टू टेक हाउ मेनी कैरेक्टर्स वी वॉन्ट टू टेक जस्ट टू कैरेक्टर्स एंड एस वन डॉट सब एस टी आर ऑफ हाउ मच जीरो कॉमा एन माइनस टू जस्ट अ स्मॉल बिट ऑफ नोट यू कैन रोटेट ए बाई टू प्लेसेज और बी बाई टू प्लेसेज दैट वुड मेक मोर सेंस ओके सो नाउ वी वुड से रिटर्न ओके रिटर्न एंटी क्लॉक वाइज इज इक्वल्स टू इक्वल्स टू एस टू और क्लॉक वाइज इज इक्वल्स टू इक्वल्स टू एस टू इफ आइदर ऑफ दम इज इक्वल we would return true or if both of them is equal it would also return true but in all other cases we would say it is a false value so we wrote n and this would be n1 let ju just take n either of them because at this point n1 both are true okay seems correct okay so let's talk about the time complexity of this problem so basically we are just concatenating the string again and making a new string and bus but we are just using variables so we can say that space complexity is constant the time complexity is big o of n okay so that's it for today thank you and have a nice day